In the company that you work for, you probably have what is known as a human resource department, affectionately known as HR. But what exactly does HR do? And do they provide any real value to the organization? The common response to the second question is no. Often viewed as simply an administrative department that tracks vacation days and processes benefits forms, HR seems to get little to no respect, especially when you compare HR to some of the other functional heavyweights like marketing, operations, finance, and more recently, IT. So before I make my case on why HR is one of, if not the most important departments in an organization, let's start at the beginning. Human Resource Management, or HRM, is the process of managing an organization's human resources, or its workforce. More technically, HRM is the process of developing the policies, practices, and systems designed to influence employee motivation, behavior, and performance. In addition to tracking payroll hours and processing benefits forms, HRM has a lot to do with attracting and maintaining a high-performing workforce. So let's talk about some of the primary functions of human resources. The goal here is to give you a general understanding of some of the important responsibilities under HRM. Keep in mind that weeks can be spent discussing each of them individually. So if you're interested in learning more, you may want to conduct some additional research. The first responsibility of human resource management is to actually analyze and design the jobs within an organization. In order for firms to be able to produce goods and offer services, they must first specify which employees are going to perform what tasks. This commonly takes the form of what is referred to as a job analysis. A job analysis is the process of getting detailed information about jobs within an organization. For example, what tasks, duties, and responsibilities should be performed? How about the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed to perform the job effectively? Referred to as a job description and job specification respectively, these are two common byproducts of a job analysis. One thing that we'll see come up regularly is the effectiveness of our recruiting, selection, training, and performance appraisals is largely dependent upon the job analysis. In addition to obtaining data related to the different types of jobs in an organization, HR will also engage in job design. Job design involves actually defining the manner in which work should be performed and ultimately the tasks required for each job. Another responsibility of human resources is to engage in planning. Human resource planning takes the form of evaluating both the existing labor supply, both internal and external, and comparing that to the demand for labor. HR, with the assistance of other functional areas, can make recommendations associated with staffing and also downsizing in the event that supply exceeds the demand for labor. Assuming that demand exceeds supply, human resources can then help the organization attract workers who are qualified to meet the demands of the job. Now, this commonly takes the form of recruitment and selection. Recruitment involves getting qualified applicants to apply for openings. The rationale here is that a larger applicant pool will increase the likelihood of finding more qualified workers. One of the common responsibilities here is figuring out where to recruit. Depending upon the type of applicant being sought, a number of different outlets from traditional newspapers to executive search services can be utilized here. Going back to our job analysis, if HR has accurately determined the requirements for the job, then they should have an easier time selecting the appropriate medium to communicate with applicants. Many organizations have even employed databases that track the skills, abilities, and education of existing employees. By creating a simple profile and self-reporting information, existing employees give managers the ability to filter for specific skills, certifications, and other attributes that may be needed for job openings. Once a large enough number of applicants has been achieved, HR now engages in selection. HR now needs to determine which applicants have the knowledge, skills, abilities, and other characteristics necessary to perform the job. One way to think about selection is similar to running hurdles in track and field. Each hurdle will eliminate a number of applicants until eventually only a few are remaining and management can make a hiring decision. Fortunately, most firms don't require us to run hurdles but they do have us complete an application, maybe take a personality or intelligence test, and sit down for an interview. These are meant to help the employer get a sense for who is more qualified to perform the job. 
Now, although HR might not actually administer these selection measures, they're heavily involved in the creation of them as it's important that they actually relate to job performance. The next important function of human resources is training and development. As you've probably experienced, every job requires some element of training in order to equip workers with the knowledge, skills, and behavior needed to perform the job. Of course, workers come in with a certain degree of knowledge and skills, but they may lack an understanding of how to operate software or certain procedures within the organization. Again, this goes back to completing a thorough job analysis, as HR will have identified those knowledge, skills, and behaviors necessary to perform the work. In addition to training, human resources also plays a significant role in managing performance. There are many ways of accomplishing this, but the commonality amongst them is they all actually measure job performance and provide feedback to workers in areas that are important to organizational performance. The next area under HRM is compensation and benefits, which involves developing the pay practices and other perks that employees will receive in exchange for being employees. This requires an understanding of what similar jobs pay in the area, as well as the required knowledge, skills, and abilities of the job. An organization's compensation and benefits also assist in the recruiting process, as generally applicants are drawn to employers who provide good pay and generous benefits packages. And the last primary responsibility of the human resource function is to handle employee separation. Unfortunately, there are times when it's appropriate for an employee and employer to part ways. This could be for performance issues, economic slowdowns, retirement, or simply the employee is leaving for another firm. As you can imagine, HR plays a significant role in ensuring that separation is handled smoothly and done in accordance with local, state, and federal law. Failing to do so can have a harmful impact on the firm and increase the chances of lawsuits and even workplace violence. Together, these functions represent key components to human resource management. As you can tell, HR plays a role in quite a few different areas, and as environments become much more competitive, firms are increasingly turning to HR as a method of providing some type of competitive advantage. Just think about this for a second. If I can attract the most qualified applicants through a combination of pay and benefits, identify them in my selection process, and provide them the training and development needed so they can excel, wouldn't I have an advantage over other firms that don't engage in those behaviors? coupled with the fact that these practices seldom provide an immediate payoff, and there's just enough of a disincentive for other firms to follow suit. Thank you for watching this video on human resource management. For questions, please leave them in the comment box below, and I'll do my best to get back to them in a timely fashion. If you want more from Alan East Business Academy, you can subscribe to our channel, listen to our podcast on SoundCloud or Stitcher, or go to alanisbusinessacademy.com where you'll find additional content, quizzes, and more. Thanks for watching.